Hello, and welcome to Gaston Spotlight. I'm Emily Beiser. Our guest today is the new production manager for WSGE Radio, Brendan Loring. Welcome, Brendan. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing great. So tell us a little bit about yourself. So I started in radio in 2012 at Cape Cod Community College, working with the college radio station 90.7 WKKL. And then I got a chance to internship with 106 WCOD in 2013. And then after that, that was a part of my internship program to get my degree. Graduated from Cape Cod in 2014. Got the chance to work on Nantucket professionally as a production assistant. And then I got to help run that operation for a couple, a couple months, about six months. And then my operation manager came in because they had to find another manager. Huh. And I worked under him with two radio stations, 97.7 ACK-FM as the night host and also doing production. And then we had an NPR station where we focused mainly on talk shows. Huh. So we had several syndicated programs that played throughout the day and also on the weekend. I see. And then uh, about a year afterwards, in the summer of 2016, they offered me a job with a sister company in New Hampshire, and I worked under the operation manager up there, and they had 16 radio stations. So I was doing the night show up there and also as a production assistant. Oh. So I've been out of radio for a couple of years, but I'm excited to get back into it and help WSG in uh, helping build their brand. Oh, that's, really, that's a really impressive background. So what brought you here to WSGE? Trying something different, trying to get back into radio, kind of missed being creative and doing all of that. And I've kind of always wanted to live down here and try to try something new. So we'll see how things go, but I'm excited to help them try to see their mission and then go from there. Right. So I've heard that you're from the north. So what was something that shocked you when you moved down south? The weather, it's not cold. Mm -hmm. It's for the most part, it's sunny. I can deal with the rain and a little bit of ice as that time tells and everything. And, and you know, everyone kind of drives kind of a little quicker, but being oh, yeah. in Boston and being in that area, I kind of know how to drive with how different things are. But people are very friendly down here. That's also what I've noticed and it's a good atmosphere. So what made you want to do on air work? Getting to know people, getting to talk to people, having fun with it, trying to build a conversation with someone and then kind of meeting people at events because mm. I got a, lot, a chance to do that, especially in the summertime and getting to go to music shows and all of that. And it's fun to be on the air and like get to meet bands and yeah. meet local business people that are a part of the community. So what are some things you're working on at the station right now? Primarily working on the station, trying to build the production quality and making sure that we have new content and then working with Eventually volunteers trying to do some interviews once we get a little more situated right. when things start to settle down. A big goal would be to see how the sport program goes, mm -hmm. if we're going to work towards that. And then also I want to work with the part-time staff and also the assistant program director and try to, try to build that up a little more and try to work with everyone so I can help them in any way I can. Oh, I see. So what are you looking for in an intern? Someone that's eager to learn. Because that was big with me when I interned when I was younger and back in college and was ready to learn everything in radio because it's not just one thing. There's multiple things that you've got to know. And it, the more you know, the more it helps later on, especially if you're going to get into it career-wise. So do you have any advice for people trying to get into the radio business? Community college is definitely the way to go because it's so hands-on and, and local radio is big. But there's nothing wrong going to university. But I, I come from a community college background, so I think it, it only helped me with success and it was vital to how I was able to get an internship and then get into it professionally. So I think community college is definitely a, a good step for someone looking in the right direction. Right, I see. Well, it was great talking to you today. You as well, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you so much for watching Guest in Spotlight. We'll see you next time.